elements can be imported into InDesign, CS5 in this example, but for CS4, etc., PC or Mac. Now, File, Place, and I've got a selection of PDF documents open here. They're graphicextra.com three-dimensional designs. Select the file. Of course, you can use any other PDF document you can find on the web or ones you've created yourself. Select that one. Open. And then you can position the design. You just move it around. Click the document. Just move around. Now, you'll see the document is actually quite coarse here. But it's actually a vector design, so it's not really coarse. But uh, high-quality display. And you will see it slightly well, a lot sharper than it was before. So you can move it around. Of course, you can resize the document design. So you can just do that. Position it inside the design as well. You can do various things and lay it out better. Also, once you've done that, you can actually go to the various commands, such as effects, and you can add a drop shadow or in a shadow and so on and so on. Click OK. So I can just quickly add a drop shadow to the design. 